Chris, you've uh, you've been a, a dominant fighter for a long time, and everybody loses in the sport. So I, I just wonder, kind of, what your emotion is like right now, and you know, how does it feel versus maybe how you thought it might when you when you had to know this day would come. You know, the beginning when I did my first MMA fight, I lost my first fight. I trained three months, six months, I think. I started training MMA. I did my first fight, and I lost. And after this day, I trained harder harder, harder, and they stay like 13 years in the field. And then I never say that I'm gonna be invisible. Like nobody, I'm never gonna lose, I never say that. And I just work hard, and I did everything for this train, for this fight. You know, I trained hard, I did everything I could, my team did everything, and if it's happened today, it's not my day, I lost. Man, yeah, you know, it's happened, fight game. You know, it's not the first time I'm gonna lost. It's not the last time I'm gonna lost. This happened, you know, it's the fight game. Because here I'm here and they do interview. Because it, this, is, this is sport. And of course I'm not happy. Uh, of course I have my heart broke, but I didn't cry. I didn't cry, I'm, I'm not gonna cry. Because I did everything. I trained really hard. And if today is the day, the Monday day, and she did it her best and she won. You know, and I just gonna go back to my gym and train harder and come back. You know, because this is my job. Everybody have bad day in the job. And today, I just text Jason, Jason, today our sparring you know, works very well because all the time I do sparring at the gym. Sometimes I have my ass kicked. Sometimes I kick butt. But you know, happen. You know, this is happen. It was an incredible fight, and you were very aggressive, both of you were. I wonder, was that the plan? Because a lot of time recently, you've been a little more tactical, a little bit more laid back. Did you expect it to be that aggressive of a fight? You know, I, I never remember what I fought, when I fought, like what I do in the cage. I always have to watch after. I didn't watch the fight yet. Um, but I, my team say, Chris, why you did, why you don't move around, you know? I don't know, man, this has happened, you know? I don't know, uh, happened and have it is, you know, have something have to happen. Do you believe that because of your long run as, as a champion and, and unbeaten for so long, that you deserve a, a rematch because of your previous accomplishments? I was deserve to talk to the cage after the fight. This is what I deserve. After the fight, I lost, okay. I deserve them giving me the microphone and to talk to my fans. Because when I get out the octagon, everybody crying. And then I want my fans crying. And then I would say I, it's a symbol for me. Be the champion, it's a, the belt, it's a symbol for me. It's the most important in my heart. Be the champion in the hearts of people. Make the difference. Because this is what I fight for. You know, I'm in the UFC before champion because I don't quit. Because everything happened in my career, everybody knows here. It's no easy for me, never easy. But I work harder, I work harder, and I get the belt and they prove to everybody who I am, against the system. Nobody do this. I did this against the system. And who I am, the champion, you know, before. But I want to be the champion of people's hearts. And then I'm going to continue doing this anywhere I'm going. And then I, my fans can talk to me. You know, after here, I'm going to go party with my fans because they deserve that. Then fall, they make me be my first five UFC. They make this for me. And I just have to appreciate them all they did for me. Chris, can you talk about, I know it's tough, but can you talk about just how special Amanda was tonight? What, what separates her from you? Um, everybody say, oh, because then I'd say, oh, who's the win tonight? You're going to be the greatest. You know, Amanda, okay, she's won today, but she had four lost. And then, you know, I have two lost. How she can be the greatest? Um, and she didn't even rematch her opponents. I can't match her. I don't, I, you know, I'm not the type of person quit. I never quit. I keep training. If you stop me, you need to do what it, she did because I'm going to keep going. And this is my style. Everybody knew who I am. Everybody watch my Muay Thai fight with Urina Bars. Man, crazy. And they continue doing. And this is, this, I'm born for this. If she punch me hard, I'm going to try to punch you harder. This is my style fight. And I love this. You know, I'm born for this. With one fight left on your contract, what do you think you're going to do when you look at the featherweight division and you consider, you know, maybe some people are tugging you to try boxing? What do you anticipate for 2019? You know, I didn't talk with my manager yet, you know, but, you know, this is my dream to do my boxing fight. This didn't change. You know, I'm going to continue training. And, you know, after 13 years, you continue training how hard the first day. 
probably after this fight, imagine I'm just going to continue hard. This is just put fire in my heart, continue to train. Chris, congratulations on a great run as champion. Um, my question for you is the first punch, you, you got dropped by that uh, one shot. How badly were you hurt? And did you ever recover from that after the first punch she hit you with? I think I was recovered because I was trying to punch her back. You know, I didn't, I didn't watch a fight yet. You know, I'm sorry I didn't fight. I don't want to see it now because it's not going to change anything now. Now I have it too. I want to see my family stay with them and have fun with my fans. But when she punched me, I think I fell, but I continue going. You know, and maybe this is my mistake I did. I have to watch again with my team. There was a lot of question whether she had the chin to take your punches, and you landed some good punches. As you sit here now, are you surprised that she was able to take the power that you hit her with and keep coming forward? You know, my team says she's closed her eyes and punch. She did like this, and the, the punch take, you know, and then take. You know, uh, she, did it, she did her best today, and there's nothing I can say. And last thing, just in reference to you, you said you wanted the microphone. Uh, did they tell you it was time-wise? Did anybody tell you why you didn't get a chance to talk in the cage? Did you ask Dana? Did you ask Joe Rogan? Do you know what no, happened? No, they just kicked me out of the cage. I think very bad, very disrespectful, because I did a lot of free sport, and, and I was supposed to say hello for my fans and say, I, I will, say I'll talk to them. I think it's not right, but okay, then did I wear it done. You know, I can go my media, talk to my fans, say how I appreciate them, how they come to the cage for watch my fights, or how the cybernetia here for watch me. You know, it's okay. You know, I, I, I just feel like I supposed to say something. Two Brazilians fight, two champions, you know, and that's it. And just to, I just want to be clear, when you say they told you to leave the cage, do you know who they was? Who specifically told you to leave? No, I don't know. It's just somebody who worked at okay. UFC and Thank Time you. Rush. I don't know. Thank you, Chris. Welcome. Hey, Chris, over here to your right. Uh, over here. Yes. It, will, will you seek, I mean, you, you haven't lost a fight in 13 years. Uh, will you seek a rematch uh, against Nunes? Of course. Of course. I can rematch any time the night on the put together. You know, uh, I, I, I love fight, and this has put more fire in my heart, continue fight, you know, and yeah, of course, of course, I end the Jorina Bars, I want to rematch you. I always say this, when I stop fighting me, I want to go my tie and match her. And I never, when I go step in the cage, say I want to prove something. I like to improve, I like to be better, and because it's a continue training, and after this fight, for sure, I'm going to train harder. Did, did uh, the location change this week from Las Vegas to L.A.? Did, it, did that affect you at all? Was there any undue stress put on you? I know you had an after party at the cancel and then set up a new one and that kind of thing. I don't know. I was stressed a little bit about my family because it didn't come, but uh, we changed everything fast. I was happy because it's close to my house, too. And my fans, a lot of fans cannot show up in Las Vegas, here because then in Las Vegas. But you know, it, it, I'm, I'm happy the fight happened, you know, and the defense can watch, you know. Of course, I don't get a winner. I was supposed to be better. But, you know, nice they don't cancel the event. Last thing, uh, where'd you get that, the pillow? Where is the pillow from? <laughs> hey, you guys know. <laughs> did, you, did you take it from, like, the, the arena? Where did, where did you? I, think, I don't know. I asked somebody, somebody have a pillow, just have the idea, just for being funny. And, and and when I go back to a hotel, my mom just called me. I'm gonna have my ass kicked again because she's really mad with me. Why you put the hands down? You no, know, happens. It's fight life. You know, it's a fighter life. I know she's mad with me. She called me mad. I said, Mom, don't, don't, you know, crazy. Thanks, Chris. Chris. Sim. Fala em português, Chris. Você consegue comparar o sentimento da derrota de hoje com o sentimento da derrota da sua primeira luta que você mencionou? Uh, na verdade, para mim, a primeira vez era tudo novo, né? Tudo novo. Era uma coisa que eu ia tentar, que eu já fazia um outro esporte e eu treinei ali seis meses. Era para mim, eu não sabia como que era, né? Mas na verdade, não me afetou, porque no, no dia seguinte eu voltei a treinar, né? Não no dia seguinte porque eu tinha deslocado meu cotovelo, mas Eu voltei a treinar e voltei... A... Porque eu acredito que por causa desde os meus 12 anos eu pratico esporte. Então eu sei, um dia você perde, um dia você ganha. E hoje não foi diferente. 
Hoje foi o dia que não foi, não foi o meu dia. Né? Então perdi, mas é, meu, é 24 horas pensar na sua derrota e valeu. Voltar para a academia e treinar. Eu tive vários exemplos na minha vida de várias pessoas, como Cyborg, como Vanderlei, como Verdun. Todo mundo já passou por perder. E a minha primeira luta eu já perdi. Então isso, isso, não me, não, não, isso só faz você melhorar cada vez mais. Você me ensinou que você não, não acha ela a melhor da história, é isso? Eu, eu, não, eu não entendi direito. Não, eu falei para ser a melhor da história, na verdade, você, ela tem quatro derrotas. A melhor da história seria nunca mais perder, nunca perder, no caso. Ela fez muito pelo esporte, fez, não desmerecendo ela. Ela foi uma das pessoas que, foi uma das pessoas que também não tiveram o carinho de todo mundo, né? Amanda sempre, ela teve que provar sempre, foi ganhou da Honda, ganhou da, de várias meninas, eu acho que ela nunca teve o valor que ela deveria ter, quem sabe com essa vitória hoje ela vai ter esse valor, né? quem sabe hoje em dia Deus me usou para poder abençoar ela e, e é isso. Última pergunta, a revanche é uma coisa que você pensa imediatamente? Na verdade assim, eu, eu gosto de lutar né? eu, e se tiver, pra, eu quero a revanche, é lógico. Né, você perde uma luta, você quer lutar com a revanche né? se, eu não, se eu não fosse pedir a revanche eu quisesse lutar eu não, seria, eu não estaria aqui sentada, não estaria lutando obrigado Hi Chris here uh, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong uh, in one of your interviews you said that it took Amanda many many months to get ready to fight you What do you th why do you think she, it took her so long to uh, prepare for the fight? She say she would like to uh, be heavy in the fight. I think she say she's hurt. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe negotiation. I really don't know her business. If you can come back and uh, rethink what you did wrong, if you can come back and uh, start the fight all over again, would you do something different or you would still use the same technique? You know, I train everything. I feel my heart. I did everything. I train everything. I don't feel my heart heavy. Ah, oh, I was supposed to train that thing. No, I did everything. If today she wants because of her, her day, and I supposed to lose. And uh, I believe it's God have amazing plan. And if today I lost his plan, and I know he's having the best plan for us, and I know I just have to wait to see why this happened today. I see. And the last thing you said, you didn't have a chance to talk. They didn't give you the microphone. Now so many cameras is behind you, or in front of you. Can you address your speech to your fans? You know, I would love to hear that. You know, definitely you deserve that. Do you know, I want to say thank you for all my fans come. And something I really, I really, something in my heart, like I always try to be the champion of the heart of everybody. Give you then hope because the people follow me and know how hard for me. And I always never show them I'm quit, I'm weak. I never show that. But I'm a human being. I know I, I have my mistakes. I have a lot of things like everybody want here. And, and I, tell, I throw them, doesn't matter, you're gonna fall, you're gonna stand up your feet and you're gonna get it there. You know, you just have to believe and have faith. And this is the thing I want to show for all my fans. When you do that, you are the champion. When you stand up your feet after you fall, you are the champion. And this is I try to show all my fans because I know everybody have a hard time. And I feel sad because everybody said because they lost today. But for sure, I have something to learn today. And I don't know what now, but I know God is going to show me. And I know nobody said because I'm not going to be sad. Chris, I would like to see if you could reflect on these 13 years in Victor, as the queen of the feminine weight. É, qual o seu legado para o esporte? Claro, você ainda tem uma carreira ainda em curso, mas qual o, seu, o legado desses 13 anos invicta para o esporte? Eu acho que o tema disso é não desistir, né? Eu acho que tudo que eu passei na minha carreira, é, várias coisas que aconteceu, eu acho que eu sempre mostrei determinação e dar continuidade né, na, na tua, na tua, na, no teu, do teu sonho. E é isso que eu que eu tento, que eu tento e mostrar para todos os meus fãs brasileiros em qualquer outro lugar do mundo, você não desistir do teu sonho que você vai conquistar. Porque eu estava campeão do UFC, eu foi um sonho, foi o que algo que almejou e demorou para alcançar, né? Demorou 13 anos para alcançar. E não foi fácil, eu não peguei um, um caminho curto para chegar lá. O meu caminho foi 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 longo e várias pedras e eu tive que tirando pedras e indo e indo e indo e não desistindo. 
Então, isso, isso eu acho que mostra para as fãs você continuar dando continuidade. E, e, eu, eu, e isso, que eu tô, tá, isso que eles têm no coração deles. Por isso que eu recebi várias mensagens. Por isso que eles estão comigo na derrota, na vitória. E isso que é mais importante para mim. E você, né, nessa sua caminhada com o UFC, teve vários problemas com a organização, né, coisas que você teve que ir trabalhando para conseguir. E hoje né, você está citando esse, esse acontecimento no queijo que você não pôde falar com os seus fãs. Você diz que o seu contrato termina em março, se não me engano. É, isso influencia a sua decisão de continuar, de renovar com o UFC ou de repente buscar um futuro em outra organização? Sabe, uma coisa, que, uma coisa que é de mim, eu não consigo guardar rancor de ninguém, né? De ninguém, de pessoas. Eu perdoo qualquer pessoa, não consigo guardar rancor. E perdoo todas as pessoas que já me fizeram mal, até na, na onde eu luto aqui, que já aconteceu. Eu perdoo cada um, todo mundo, né? Porque eu acredito que, de uma forma ou outra, você vai, você vai receber o que, em troca o que você fez. Então, eu acredito nisso. Então, eu não tenho que guardar rancor de ninguém. Então, eu perdoo todo mundo. E o que aconteceu hoje, pode ser que não foi, não foi vontade de ninguém, mas eu acreditava que eu merecia poder falar com meus fãs. Mas se aconteceu, pode, pode ser que ninguém está no controle, só chegou a hora de John Jones entrar para o octágono e eu tiver que sair. Mas, mas é isso. Obrigado, Chris. Obrigado, guys. Have a good, have a happy new year for everybody.